14th and I would like to wish you a very happy Children's Day and also a very happy Diwali. I am Ridhla and today we are going to study physical and chemical changes. But before that, I request you to kindly share, like and subscribe to our channel. और अगर आप भी हमारे चैनल में पार्टिसिपेट करना चाहते हैं या हमें कोई सजेशन देना चाहते हैं देन प्लीज राइट टू अस एट एडवांटेज मास्टर माइंड एट जी मेल डॉट कॉम आज हमारे साथ है सैयद जैन सैयद जैन इज नॉट ओनली गुड इन केमिस्ट्री बट ही इज द मास्टर ऑफ ऑल सब्जेक्ट्स अ सुपर कूल किन इज गॉट इट ऑल प्रेजेंटिंग टू यू द मास्टर everyone zain here let us start the chapter physical and chemical changes we know that the universe is made up of matter and matter is ever changing let it be ice changing to water child growing into an adult seed growing into a plant night changing to day and so on changes may happen for good or for bad if the changes are desirable then we say it is a good change but if it is not desirable it may even cause us harm Changes are of various types. Some changes are very slow that it may even take months or years to get there. Such changes are known as slow changes. For example, growth of a plant. पेड़ या जानवर इतने स्लोली बढ़ते हैं कि उन्हें बड़ा होने में सारी जिंदगी लग जाती है और कुछ चेंजेस इतने जल्दी होते हैं कि उन्हें एक मिनट भी नहीं लगता इट मे जस्ट टेक अ फ्यू सेकेंड्स और अ मिनट सच चेंजेस आर नोन एज फास्ट चेंजेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल बर्निंग ऑफ पेपर लाइटनिंग एक्सेट्रा It is that are brought about by man or nature which produce good or desirable results are known as desirable changes for example ripening of a fruit cooking of a pilau hmm this is definitely a desirable change but there are some natural or man made changes which are either useless or bad for us such changes are known as undesirable changes for example rotting of fruits phalon ka pakna to ek desirable change hai nahi to hum phal kaise khayenge क्या आप इसको कच्चा खा सकते हैं लेकिन फलों का खराब हो जाना एक अच्छा चेंज नहीं है और जो चेंज अच्छा नहीं होता हम उसे अनडिजायरेबल चेंज कहते हैं चेंजेस दैट आर ब्रॉट अबाउट बाय नेचर आर नोन एज नेचुरल चेंजेस फॉर एग्जांपल चेंज ऑफ सीजंस चेंजेस दैट आर ब्रॉट अबाउट बाय मैन आर नोन एज मैनमेड चेंजेस फॉर एग्जांपल कन्वर्जन ऑफ आयरन टू स्टील बिल्डिंग एक्सेट्रा Some changes occur at regular intervals of time. They are known as periodic changes. For example, occurrence of day and night. Some changes do not occur periodically. They might occur at any time. For example, eruption of a volcano, change of weather, etc. There are some changes in which heat is evolved. Such changes are known as exothermic changes. For example, burning of a candle. In this reaction, heat is given out in the form of fire. आग बहुत गर्म होती है इस रिएक्शन को हम एक्सोथर्मिक रिएक्शन कहेंगे और इलेक्ट्रिक बल्ब भी है एक एग्जांपल एक्सोथर्मिक चेंज का इवेपोरेशन इज एन एग्जांपल ऑफ एन एंडोथर्मिक चेंज इन दिस रिएक्शन द हीट फ्रॉम द सन इज अब्सॉर्ब बाय द वाटर मॉलिक्यूल्स एंड दे आर चेंज टू वाटर वेपर दो इवेपोरेशन इज अ नेचुरल चेंज दिस कैन बी डन एट होम अंडर द एडल्ट्स गाइडेंस टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो एन एक्सपेरिमेंट So the things required to do this experiment are a gas stove, a frying pan, water, and salt. First, dissolve the salt and water in a pan. then turn on the gas stove and turn the knob to minimum soon the water starts boiling and you can see that it's evaporating once very little water is left turn off the gas and let it dry naturally after some time we see that only salt is left in the pan and all the water has evaporated since all the water absorbs the heat therefore this is an example of exothermic reaction changes that can be reversed easily are called reversible changes for example drying of clothes changes that cannot be reversed are known as irreversible changes for example bursting of crackers 
From all the different types of changes mentioned above, changes can be categorized into two main headings. Changes which are temporary, reversible and in which no new substance is found are known as physical changes. For example, melting of ice. Changes which are permanent, irreversible and in which a new substance is found are known as chemical changes. For example, burning of paper. Let us study about their characteristics with the help of simple experiments. I have a sheet of paper which is rectangular and white in color. Now, let me tear it to see if its color and appearance changes. Nothing happened to its color and appearance. Only its size and shape changed. Now, let me break this wooden stick. No new substance is formed. Similarly, when I stretch a rubber band, no new substance is formed. Such a change in which no new substance is formed is known as a physical change. Now, let us study about some of the characteristics of a physical change. Characteristics of a physical change. No new substance is formed. There is no gain or loss of energy during this process. It is temporary and is reversible. There is change of shape, size and appearance, but there is no change in its composition. I have this small piece of paper which I have put over a plate and now I am going to burn this very carefully. Let's see what happens. Now I am burning this stick. After it burns, let us see what happens. See, it is burning. After some time, let's see what happens. I have a raw banana which has changed into a ripened banana. But can this ripened banana change into a raw banana again? Similarly, I have an iron nail. Iron, as we all know, is metallic grey in colour. But look what happened to this piece of iron when it was exposed to air and moisture. The same metallic grey has changed into a reddish brown colour. Now, let us see what has happened to the piece of paper and wooden stick. Both have changed into ash. Isn't ash a new substance? Similarly, rusted piece of iron. Ye bhi to naya substance hai. Now, let us summarize about the characteristics of a chemical change. Characteristics of a chemical change. A new substance is formed. There is gain or loss of energy. It is permanent and irreversible change. So friends, if rusting of iron is a chemical change, then can you tell what is the chemical name of rust? If you know the answer, then please write in the comments below or write to us at advantagemasterminds at gmail.com. Hope you liked my presentation and do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and